Hello, everyone. Hey, this is a Nintendo Maniac. Okay, huh? And guess what? Hey, everyone. Kevin Savage here. What is up, guys? John with Gaming Through the Decade. Hey, everybody. Chris, the old ass retro gamer here. Um. Hey, guys. I had to make a really quick video on this because. And I have got. Such a great story to tell you guys today. I woke up this morning and I saw some news. This is some insane news. And just like everybody else online, I'm kind of ticked off. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of ticked off. The, uh, the, um, the, um, uh, the... Oh, great. Capcom has just announced... Oh, God. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's right. Yeah, um, the... This gets me so mad. This gets me so mad. Okay. That they are making the Commodore 64 classic. Rumors are true, guys. They revealed the Super Nintendo Mini. The SNES classic. Yeah. The Super Nintendo Mini has reared its magnificent head. I am really excited about the Super Nintendo Mini coming out. Nintendo has announced the SNES classic Mini. Like. I so the SNES Mini is going to be coming out. Or sorry, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. There is going to be a SNES. Mini coming out, uh, put out by obviously Nintendo. SNES Mini. Recently got announced, and uh, it seems like everyone is just, you know, losing their minds and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the fucking Super Nintendo just released! Ah! I was, oh my god! I couldn't believe it! I couldn't believe that they were gonna announce that so soon! And Man, I'm really excited about this. I told my mom, don't don't mess with me, don't bother me. It's gonna include 21 awesome games, Super Mario. Awesome games, like Star Fox. We have NBA Jam. You got games like Contra 3, Earthbound, and Final Fantasy 3, and more Zelda, more fucking Mario. Super Metroid. Donkey Kong Country. Or yet, more fucking NBA Jam. Lesser the unlikely. Home Improvement, and Super Castlevania 4, and a couple more. Mega Man X! Star Fox 2! Star Fox 2! Star Fox 2! I mean, fuck, you got Star Fox, Star Fox 2 on here, too. Everyone's making such a big stink about how Star Fox 2 is gonna be available on this thing. It's got Star Fox 2! I'm not kidding! Where the hell is Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy 2, the ones that everybody just loves? NBA Jam is gonna be on this thing. That's amazing. Not a bad bargain. Let's be real what this is. This is nostalgia dollars, and that's all it's ever gonna be. We saw the release of the NES Classic. That swooped up a lot of motherfuckers' attention, and nostalgia dollars rained from the sky like a mountain of piss, I'll tell you that much. After the NES Classic, to me, which I never got, unfortunately, because... Passed up the NES Mini because... Yay. Which we never got because they fucking canceled. They hated us. Um, so is Nintendo going to short supply it once again? Are we only going to see shortages of maybe two to three units per store? I wanted one to play. I wanted one to display and keep sealed. And I wanted one to put in my vault of retro gaming uh, enthusiasm. This right here. I You know, I paid $500 for this. Guess what, man? It still doesn't have all the great games on it. Okay, this is a physical emulator. Enjoy. Nintendo knows you want it, and you're gonna buy it. And and I know some people are saying, oh, you, you know, you can play the Retro Pi, you can play the Raspberry Pi, you have emulation. Well, you know what? That's that's not that's not real. That's not real to me. That's not real gaming. Right here, I've got my RGB modded SNES Junior, the best way to play Super Nintendo. This bullshit Starbucks Zero, this fucking Mario, fucking whatever, man. I hate emulation. I hate ROMs. I hate, you know, not playing games on the original hardware. So I really want to get this SNES Mini and enjoy the games without the cartridges. You know, I just want to hook them up and play them. Is there going to be a shortage? What are you doing in my chair, bro? This ain't your channel anymore. They will be happy. They will sit on top of Scrooge McDuckian coin dollars and swim through with spitting coins out their mouth like the fucking whales of cash currency that they are. I'm gonna probably gonna scalp some of those fucking bitches. And um, the reason why is because I I need that money. Super Nintendo, that's all we need. Now, I can't wait anymore. It's fucking
fucking emulators are tearing me up for the Zelda bullshit. Well, Nintendo, when are you going to wake up and realize that you need some really hardcore content in your game systems? Star Fox 2! Suck it! Nintendo Maniac is going to be getting that day one if they make enough, of course. What will Hideo Kojima think of next? I have 26 SNESs, and I just wanted this one to be my number 27. I want it to be my number 27 and be very, very special to me. I just want to play Super Mario World. Is that so wrong? And everybody else, all the gamers, we will have our SNES Classic Mini. So just get rid of the Switch, get rid of all the fucking Wii games, the 3DS, and all these shits out here. I have a message for all the scalpers out there, okay? Okay, what makes you tick? What makes what makes you tick? Alright? Because I really like to know that. I like to know what makes you tick. Because what really ticks me off right now is all the scalpers. Of course it's gonna be short supplied. It's Nintendo. They don't even retro, bro. Come on. Who cares? Buy a retro pie. Doesn't fucking matter whenever we can play Super Mario All-Star. Is Super Mario All-Stars on there? Oh, fuck. But, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys gonna get the Super Nintendo Mini? Or Classic, or... But leave a comment below. I love to hear your thoughts about these scalpers. These, like, soulless monsters. Super Mario World! Because this guy still doesn't own a copy of it. Get this fucking shit out of here, Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this. It was a really fun, great collaborative effort, and I want to thank everybody that's involved. First of all, I'd like to thank Wolf King and Ka and Metal Knight of Super Shy Guy Gaming, which is a channel that I'm part of. They regularly do Let's Plays and things like that. I definitely recommend checking it out. Links for all these people will be in the description below. I also want to thank Christopher Pico, the old-ass retro gamer, uh, for contributing to the video. He does some really good discussion videos regarding collecting and things like that, so I definitely recommend checking that out. I also would like to thank Travis Goss of Game of Travis. He does a Let's Play channel, does a lot of different Let's Plays and things like that. Uh, go ahead and check that out, of course. I also would like to thank my boy, John, the Retro Bro. He brought back an old character uh, for this video and is quite enjoyable, I'd say. I uh, want to thank Rum and Apples, of course, uh, which has probably one of the funniest podcasts on YouTube. I definitely recommend checking it out. As a matter of fact, I was on his show twice, so you might check the links out below. And then, of course, I'd like to thank Xander Skolian, who does his own podcast and also has his own YouTube channel, which is very great, good YouTube fun. And um, am I thinking, am I missing anybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, BioPhoenix, of course. Always a pleasure. Don't forget to check those channels out, people. Um, and, of course, you know, if you get a chance to subscribe, do it. But until then, Dow Phoenix out.